Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Imagine a world without power lines. A high school dropout from Zimbabwe leaped 300 years into the future. A technology 300 years ahead of its time. So goof to be true that the world finds so had to digest. So right now, we are waiting on that to put a, a, an assembling plant in Zimbabwe, to start with an assembling plant. They'll bring their expertise in making cars, we we'll bring our expertise in energy. Then we combine the two. So from now going onwards, you can now get the machines. At a much anticipated event in Harare, Zimbabwe, Maxwell Chikumbutso, the renowned Zimbabwean inventor, recently unveiled his groundbreaking microsonic energy-powered devices as promised. This unveiling has once again thrust him into the public spotlight, with some skeptics labeling him as a fraud, while a significant number of people continue to express unwavering faith in his innovations. This was clearly demonstrated by the impressive turnout at his launch event, which included attendees from as far as Europe and several other African countries. Today we are the first people who have done that in the world. Like us, like us or hate us, that's a fact. We have seen it, we have tested it, it was tested outside the country, it works. It is important to note that he does not actually manufacture vehicles, but rather powers them with his microsonic device. This has been a conflicting point for several people, and it is only fair to make it clear. So if you own a car already, you can now buy and install his microsonic energy-powered device into your car, giving it the power to run without the need for any recharge or fuel. The year is 2025, and the world is about to be hit with something so disruptive, so brutally aggressive, that 80% of human inventions, from automobiles to power grids, from oil refineries to space travel, will either adapt or become obsolete overnight. This is not a slow technological evolution. This is a quantum leap, one so big that history itself will be divided into before and after Maxwell Chikumbutsa, a name you won't find in your physics books, a man who doesn't speak in complex equations or expensive English, a high school dropout from Africa, yet in 2025, he stands at the pinnacle of human innovation, shattering the laws of energy production, physics and engineering as we know them. His invention? A self-sustaining wireless energy generator, an unlimited power source that requires no fuel, no sun, no wind, no batteries. It's the invention humanity has dreamed of but never thought possible. It's the end of energy scarcity and it's causing panic, jealousy and rage across the Western world, the firestorm of disruption, 80% of inventions under threat. For centuries, global power was built on controlled energy sources. Oil companies, electric grids, nuclear plants and lithium battery manufacturers held the world in an iron grip, feeding on the never-ending need for fuel and maintenance. Maxwell Chikumbutso's technology just set fire to the entire system. The sectors that will crumble under his invention, one, fossil fuel industry, the trillion dollar oil, coal and gas industries instantly become obsolete. No one needs fuel when you have a limitless power source. Two, electric grids and power plants. The infrastructure that powers cities is rendered useless when every home, every business, every country can generate its own endless energy. Three, battery industry. No need for lithium, no need for massive battery storage when energy flows continuously without depletion. Tesla, finished, electric car revolution, hijacked. Four, aerospace and aviation. Aircraft and spacecraft will no longer need jet fuel or heavy battery packs. The cost of flying will collapse and the rules of space travel will be rewritten. Five, telecommunications and internet. Wireless power means wireless communication on an entirely new level, making the old systems irrelevant. Six, manufacturing and transportation machines that required fuel or battery replacements will run forever, making entire supply chains obsolete. Seven, defense and military industry. The need for oil-driven wars, fuel logistics and power-dependent weapons disappears, reshaping global military dominance. This invention is not just a disruption, it's a reckoning. Jealousy, envy and Western resistance. With such a brutally disruptive invention, the world was never going to accept it quietly. Western nations, built on energy monopolies and technological dominance, suddenly find themselves outpaced by an African inventor they once ignored. The hatred and envy start boiling over. Big Oil tries to discredit it, claiming it's impossible, desperate to protect their dying empire. Tech giants scramble, knowing their electric car and battery businesses are in ruins. Governments panic, realizing their entire economic models will collapse if this invention is widely adopted. 
They mock Maxwell Chikumbuzo, calling his invention a hoax, a scam, a violation of the laws of physics. But they know the truth. They just aren't in control anymore. For the first time in modern history, the Western world is not leading the next big innovation. For the first time, the global center of power shifts toward Africa. The two choices adapt or rust the Western world and every industry affected now faces two brutal choices. Eight, adapt and stay relevant. Governments, industries and corporations must accept reality. This new energy revolution is unstoppable. If they choose to embrace the invention, they will have to license the technology from Africa, something they've never had to do before. Dismantle their old industries and rebuild under new principles. Acknowledge that Africa is now the leader of the energy revolution. This is the hardest pill to swallow for the West, accepting that they no longer dictate global innovation. But those who adapt will thrive in the new world order. 9. Resist and become obsolete. The second choice is denial, resistance and sabotage. Refusing to adapt and hoping that the old ways still work. This means spreading disinformation to downplay or discredit the invention. Blocking African patents from global recognition. Attempting to steal the technology or suppress it through economic or political pressure. Clinging to fossil fuels, lithium batteries and outdated industries even as they become irrelevant. But the truth is unstoppable and those who refuse to adapt will find themselves rotting away like abandoned factories. The new global power shift. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's invention is not just about energy, it's about who controls the future. For over 300 years, the Western world dictated how energy was produced and consumed. But this time, the revolution is African. This time, it is the West that must knock on Africa's door, seeking licenses, partnerships and access to the biggest technological breakthrough of the century. And for the first time, Africa will decide the terms. The old world order is collapsing, the power shift is happening. The only question left is who will embrace the future and who will be left to rust? Picture cars that run without needing fuel. This is the future promised by Maxwell Chikumbuzo, an inventor from Zimbabwe. His revolutionary technology claims to generate energy from the air itself. If true, this invention could change everything. It could reshape industries and redefine global power dynamics. Chikumbuzo's invention is more than just a technological marvel, it's a beacon of hope. It represents a shift in the global landscape of innovation with Africa at the forefront. For too long, the narrative has been dominated by Western advancements. Now a new chapter is being written. This is the story of a potential energy revolution sparked in the heart of Africa. It's a story of disruption, opportunity and the struggle for control in a world on the verge of transformation. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story reads like a modern-day myth. He's a self-taught engineer, a man driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to uplift his nation. Born and raised in Zimbabwe, he didn't have access to the resources of his Western counterparts. What he possessed, however, was a keen intellect and an unwavering belief in his vision. Chikumbuzo's journey highlights the power of human ingenuity even in the face of adversity. He dared to dream of a world free from energy constraints, a world where innovation could flourish without limitations. His story is a testament to the potential that lies dormant in every corner of the globe, waiting for the right opportunity to ignite. At the heart of Chikumbuzo's invention lies a concept that has captivated scientists and dreamers for centuries, free energy. His device, known as the microsonic energy device, allegedly harnesses energy from radio frequencies, converting them into usable electricity. Imagine a world where power plants become relics of the past, replaced by small self-sustaining devices that power our homes and vehicles. This is the promise of Chikumbuzo's invention. While the scientific community remains skeptical, the implications of his claims are undeniable. If true, this technology could usher in an era of unprecedented abundance, forever altering the way we live, work and interact with the world around us. The fossil fuel industry has long held a tight grip on the global energy market. Oil, coal and natural gas have fueled our economies for centuries, but at a steep cost. Pollution, Climate change and geopolitical instability are just a few of the consequences. Chikumbuzo's invention threatens to disrupt this established order. If his technology can deliver on its promise, it could render fossil fuels obsolete, 
ushering in a new era of clean, sustainable energy. The implications for the environment are profound. Imagine a world free from the choking smog of coal plants, where the air is clean and the threat of climate change recedes. This is the potential that Chikumbutso's invention holds. Section 5. Shaking the grid, the future of power. Our dependence on centralized power grids has shaped the way we live for generations. Vast networks of power lines crisscross the globe, delivering electricity from power plants to our homes and businesses. This reliance, however, comes with its own set of vulnerabilities. Chikumbutso's invention promises a future of decentralized power generation. Imagine a world where every home, every business, generates its own clean, sustainable energy. No more blackouts, no more reliance on vulnerable power lines. This shift would revolutionize the way we think about energy infrastructure. It would empower individuals and communities, giving them control over their energy destiny. Section 6 Batteries Not Included, A World Without Limits The rise of portable electronics and electric vehicles has fueled an insatiable demand for batteries. But batteries have limitations. They are expensive, they degrade over time, and their production carries environmental costs. Chikumbutso's invention promises to liberate us from this dependence on batteries. Imagine devices that never need charging, electric cars that can travel limitless distances without needing to stop. This breakthrough could unleash a wave of innovation across industries. From consumer electronics to medical devices to transportation, the possibilities are endless. Section 7, The Western World Embrace or Oppose Chikumbutso's invention poses a direct challenge to the established order, particularly to Western nations that have long dominated the global energy landscape. Their economies, their political influence are deeply intertwined with the current energy paradigm. The response from these nations has been mixed, ranging from cautious skepticism to outright dismissal. Some see Chikumbutso's invention as a threat, a potential disruptor that could undermine their economic and geopolitical dominance. But others, however, recognize the opportunity. They see a chance to invest in the future, to be part of a global energy revolution that could benefit all of humanity. Section 8. A New Dawn for Africa For centuries, Africa has been viewed through a lens of poverty, conflict and underdevelopment. Chikumbutso's invention challenges this narrative. It highlights the immense potential that lies dormant within the continent, waiting to be unleashed. His story is a beacon of hope, not just for Africa, but for the entire developing world. It serves as a powerful reminder that innovation is not bound by geography or circumstance. It can emerge from the most unexpected places, challenging our assumptions and reshaping our world. Section 9. The choice adapt or be left behind. The world is on the cusp of a new era, one driven by technological innovation and a shift in the global balance of power. Chikumbutso's invention, whether it ultimately proves successful or not, serves as a powerful catalyst for this change. The question is, how will we respond? Will we cling to the old ways, resisting change and defending outdated systems, or will we embrace the future, embracing innovation and working together to build a more sustainable and equitable world? The choice is ours. The future awaits.